Come on, walk to the table and just high five them and tell them, give God a praise anyhow. Come on, in spite of it, go ahead and give God a praise anyhow. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. Come on, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why he is worthy. Because he is God all by himself. He don't need no validation. He don't need nobody to tell him who he is because he is sure that he is God. And the Bible says this. He said that heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. If he chooses to, he can walk around this morning.
Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. Our request script is taken from Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses four through six. It declares, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be made known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And our permanent prayer request is that Bishop Baker, Bishop Morgan, and the church friend request that we rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing that the church stay on one accord, that the house of prayer continue to be established in peace, and that God's will be done in each individual request in all nations of the world. Come on, can you give God a God bless your hand for the day? This time we're going to have Minister Hattie Wine and Minister Lindsay come and do our prayer and our scripture reading, and after that we're going to come back and do our offertory prayer. And we're going to do this in an exceeding and quick manner. And then after they, I come back to do the um, offertory prayer. After that, we're going to have the choir come and bless us in their own way. Then we're going to have Bishop Morgan come and follow the service. Amen. Amen. Can we follow that in that order? Come on. God bless you. Amen. Thank the Lord. Uh, since we've already been hyped up, amen. So let us get on one accord. We, I could pray and, you know, you could agree with me in prayer. But let us get on one accord and pray the Lord's prayer in unison. So we can unify this service because I sense in my spirit something good is about to happen. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. God's purpose and grace in us. Amen. Amen. And speaking of God's purpose and grace in us, uh, a little later on in the service, you'll see me leaving and uh, to be with my family in Pensacola, and uh, we believe in God great even there. Amen? Amen. 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 So we're reading, amen, from Second Timothy, uh, first chapter. We're going to start at the seventh verse and read to the ninth verse. Read all of the ninth verse. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, but not according to our works, but according to his purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before, hallelujah, the world began. Hallelujah. Two things I want to make mention of. First thing is, um, pray for my wife. Um, she's on the way to Seattle, Washington, to uh, be with her sister at this time, her and her family out there. So pray for us, pray for her. Um, I got three grown kids, and it's going to keep me straight while she's on We just thank God for your prayers. We, we know that you already been praying for her. So we yeah, thank God amen. for you. Amen. amen. And then um, as, after I do the prayer, we're going to um, have our officers stand up here today. We're going to start by walking and giving God glory, even in our giving. Amen. 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 Amen.
justice will a man rob God. God, we didn't come to rob you today. We just come to walk in obedience. You bless our time. Bless our offering. Give back to us, God, the overflow of your joy. Overflow of your peace and your love. Something that tangible thing the money just can't buy. God, draw the family closer together. Heal us in the name of Jesus. God, the same on often the day is a sweet memorial. I will first speak to you. We honor you today. Bless us according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen. We're going to tell all of you to come forth today. Pastor Henderson sends his uh, four Sunday seat offering for Congress. You'll be to see us real soon.
believe that God would have us to go this way to uh, set a mind of faith in the house. Amen. There's a praise in here. Can you feel the praise in the atmosphere? Let's do some faith with that and let's work together. And let's see what God would have us to do. Amen. The song of God.
blessing to be in the house of God at this hour, at this time, with what God is doing amongst his people, what he's doing in the kingdom of God. We're on the cusp of something. We're on the cusp of a move of God. And if you pay attention, God is preparing his people for what's about to happen. He's sending forth for laborers, workers, those who are going to put their hand to the plow and don't look back. And I'm telling you, what you have seen, you will see yet again. Miracles, signs, and wonders, I'm telling you, God is about to do something. Amen. Before we sit down, let's pray. Amen. Will you pray softly? Let's pray. Pray real quick as we go before the throne. God, <laughs> like Jesus said, I, I thank you that you already heard me. But for that those that stand amongst us may know that you sent me for this hour. God, I pray that your will be done in heaven as it is in earth. Do what you want to do. Move how you want to move. Speak how you want to speak. Go up and down the roads. Touch everybody that's here. Let no one leave the same way that they came. In Jesus' name. There's power in your name. There's healing in your name. There's deliverance in your name. Everything we need is in you, God. And God, we believe the scriptures, oh God. We believe the word of God, that it is true, that it is so. Let God be true. And every man who speak against it be a liar. Let your word go forth with power, God. Let it reach hearts today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody shout amen like you believe in God.
I'm committed to God, if I'm committed to the bishop, if I'm committed to my mother, love you, mama. Ain't nobody like us. Smile right in the room. Amen. Nobody like us. If I'm committed to them, that means that I have to be committed to you. That's right. Amen. You are who we serve. You pre- yeah. Yeah. We serve. So if you don't have my number and want it, just come to me. If you need my address, you need, I need to know what minister Tony is saying. Ask me for it. I'm making myself accessible to you because I'm here to serve you. Amen. That's the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 God is speaking in his hour. In order for us, order for, we got to be able to hear what God is saying. Especially in this hour, because this is the thing: if we can hear, we can see. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing, hearing by His word. If we walk by faith and not by sight, that means that faith takes the place of my seeing and increases my. It helps me in my walk with God. So in order to see, I got to be able to hear. What God is saying unto the church. Amen. So open your ears. Amen. Open your ears so you can hear what God is saying. I believe that God is about to allow us to see who we are, who we are, and what our purpose is in this world. Right? See, this is the thing. We are the light of the world. The church don't see the the church don't shine without the darkness. We're in here for a reason. We're the boat. The church, the, the church is the boat. The world is the water. But we don't function properly without going through this. We got the voyage through this. It's a purpose behind who we are yeah. in this world. If we're the salt of the earth. Yeah. Right. Come on now, walk with me. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go turn your turn your Bible to the Book of Ephesians. While you're looking for it, somebody shout, Kingdom Operator. Kingdom Operator. Say it again like you know what you're talking about. Kingdom Operator. Amen. Amen. Book of Ephesians. And those who have been in Sunday school are going to have a little head start. I encourage you all to come to Sunday school. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please. Come to Sunday school. Let God bless you. Yeah. Let God train you. Yeah. A lot, a lot of foundational truths are given in Sunday school. Yeah. You know, and I know it's a bit of a sacrifice to get up a little earlier, or maybe there are some things that allow you not to come. And if that's the case, I understand. But if it's just because, you know, you're just getting up a little late, I encourage you to get on up. Come to Sunday school. Amen? Amen. 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 If we're going to do it, we might as well do it for real. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians. And I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to start verse 3. Start right there. And... Chapter 1, I'm sorry. Chapter 1, verse 3. And it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him. Listen at this, before the foundation of the world. (laughs) You you see what I'm saying? You're right on it. That we should be blameless, that we should be holy, without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to his good pleasure. Listen to the Pauline language. I just love it. How Paul, look how God has explained the redemption plans of yeah. Paul. Yeah. Redemption. Yeah. This is something that God had in mind way before the foundation of the world. He set it in place. And Paul, understanding the scriptures, points to what Points to Jesus being the kinsman redeemer. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children uh, by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, forgiveness of sin, yeah. according to the riches of his grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wherein he has abounded toward us in all wisdom, and prudence, listen at this, having made known unto us the mystery of his will. See, Jews can understand how the Gentiles could be saved. Yeah. Matter of fact, they didn't even eat with Gentiles. They had no dealings with Gentiles. Because they were aliens, as the Bible says, from the commonwealth of Israel. We're going to get into that, too. So I ain't going to move ahead of myself. 
listen at this, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ. Mm-hmm. Tear down every wall, every distinction. They talked about it earlier. Nobody's better than the other. Uh-huh. Yeah. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Let's go to chapter 2. We're going to start about verse 11. We're doing a little reading. Wherefore, remember that you being in times past Gentiles in the flesh, you are called uncircumcision. By those by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands, being made aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, <laughs> and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Hallelujah, bless his name. Commonwealth. That which the Jews took for granted. You know, through them came, you know, uh, Abraham, Moses, and the commandments, the minor and major prophets. Hallelujah. Who pointed to Jesus, who stepped out of deity. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God. All things were made by Him, but without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Then it goes down and says, the Word became flesh. <laughs> Hallelujah. And dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. Even as the only gotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Jesus steps out of heaven. And comes through the canal, birth canal, of a virgin who's blessed among women. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, like the song says, born in, born in a manger, but how does God say a manger born but on the tree? He died to say one extreme, born in a manger, lowly, to the extreme where God has given him a name because of what he did. He became obedient to death. Even death of the cross, and God has given him a name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. He's Lord. Verse 12, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, uh huh, strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope without God in the world. But now, in Christ, you who were sometimes afar off are made nigh by what? The blood of Christ. For he is our peace, hallelujah, who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition. He broke it down. Listen at this. Having the bolus in his flesh, the enmity. Ooh, listen at this. Even the law of the commandments contained in ordinances but to make in himself twain or two, one new man, making peace. God has tore it down. Hallelujah. God opened the door of, see, through Adam came sin into the world. Through Jesus came grace into the world. <laughs> Adam died with his bride. Jesus died for his bride. And therefore, we can, therefore, by grace are ye saved. Yeah. It is the gift of God, not the word. We sin a man should boast. That's why we should live for God with all our might. Because of what he did, because of what he did to get you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. foundation of the world. The Bible says, uh, according, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. He chose us. Yeah. He said, those, I know who's a man. Yeah. Can't nobody plug this. I know. See, the thing is, we don't know. That's why we got to pursue God. That's why we got to love him with all our might, because we don't know. We got to Man, I'm telling you, faith, faith will move God. Faith will cross through dispensations. Oh, it'll break the rule. Oh, let, let me tell you. Let, let me tell you something. Now, I, I'm, I'm talking Bible now. When Jesus, uh, when Jesus, when Jesus crossed the lake, he he crossed dispensations. Yeah. Let me show you this. He crossed dispensations. When he comes to the other side, and he went to the man who had the demons in him. What did the demons go in? What did the demons go in? Swine. Swine. Jews don't raise swine. They don't, bro. Gentiles. So Jesus crossed before he was crossed. Come on, somebody. He crossed before he was crossed. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> Even the dollars in the crumbs that fall for the master's table. Yeah. Jesus said, I ain't seen such great faith in Israel. Right. Faith is counted unto you as righteousness, yeah. and God will wait at the red for the Samaritan woman when faith is involved. Hallelujah. Right. Come on, y'all better walk with me. You're going somewhere. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments, God is See, God can do whatever he want to do. He told Peter, he is like, he, he, and he's still holy. He God. Because he's not God in the law. He's God of the law. And he can do what he want to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus saving folks who was having orgies and, 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 and doing perverted things and, 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 and worshiping idol gods. And he came in and, uh, and filled them with the Holy Ghost. They ain't know what to do. Hallelujah, bless his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why you can't count nobody out. Just how you should be judged. Yeah. Hallelujah. You yourself walked the court, walked the court into the courts of this world at some time. You was once that way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't count nobody out Don't just because you seen them with a beer in their hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But God. Yeah. Verse 4. Chapter 2, who is rich in mercy, yeah. for his great love, for which he has loved us. Yeah. Even while we were dead in sins, yeah. mm-hmm. he's quickened us together with Christ. Yes, sir. By grace you are saved. Uh, no, no. You know what that word quicken means? To make alive. Make alive. And he said that he's quickened us together with Christ. Yes, so that means when Christ got up, we got up too. Because <laughs> we was already in here. Yeah. Hallelujah. We was already in Hallelujah. The Bible is right. Amen. Right. Listen at this. And has raised us up together. I'm in verse 6. And made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ. He made us alive with Christ. And now we're seated in Christ. Where is Christ? In heaven. In heaven. On the right hand of the Father. And if he is in heaven, we right there with him. Can you believe that? Yes, sir. Watch out. Can you really believe that you're in Christ? Yes. Hallelujah, bless his name. The Bible said that you have been sealed. Since you believed, you have been sealed with the spirit of promise, which is our, the Bible said, which is the earnest of our inheritance yes. until the redemption of the purchased possession. I'm still in Ephesians. Just read the book, you'll find it, I promise you. Another word for earnest is down payment. So the Spirit is our down payment to heaven. It marks us. It shows where we belong. Look at it like this. Okay. Let me stand at mom's house. Stand at mom's house. Or either you, 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 put a, you put a down payment on a house or you put a down payment on a, ha- or on a car. You don't leave the car on the lot or you don't stay with your mama, do it. You move into the house, or you get into, you drive the car to life. You don't leave the car to life. Why? Because you put a down payment on it. And it you may not have paid for it, but it's, it's in your what? It's in your name. Your name is on it. How many believe that their name is in the, uh, the Lamb's Book of Life? Hallelujah. Your name is on it. Somebody shout Kingdom Operator. Kingdom Operator. So here it is. Let me show you why Jesus did miracles. Now, let's go through the scriptures because we got, we, we got, it's important that we have a foundation of scripture so people can understand that we're coming from the Bible, not just our head, hallelujah. So, so, Jesus said, okay, so he said, who sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind. He said, neither, but that the glory, that the works of God may be manifest. Right? So, Lazarus, just notice this way, Lazarus says, uh, I mean, that before Lazarus died, it was like Lazarus was sick, man, he's like, he's not sick under death. Not sick under death. But that the glory of God, for the glory of God, hallelujah. And then before he raised him, before he raised him, he says this, he said, God, I thank you that you already heard me, but that's for those that stand with me that may believe that you sent me. Let me give, let me give you a little something on that while Jesus waited four days. Just, just a little theology. Listen, listen to this because it's good. It makes sense. Yeah. Jesus waited four days because the Sadducees believed that after the third day there was no way.
way that he can come back to his body and be brought back alive. So Jesus did that, waited on purpose to prove their doctrine wrong. That he is God. That he was a gift from God. And that all power is in his hand. Hallelujah. Proving them wrong. So many ideologies that was going on back in that time. And Jesus was going, they wanted to kill him. They wanted to take Jesus out. Because he was proving them wrong left and right. Messing up their little system that they had going on. Jesus came in the came in the church and he turned over the tables and started throwing chairs and said, Y'all have made my house a den of thieves. My house is it's a house of prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus was radical. I don't know who we think we serve in and Jesus was radical. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name. Bless. But Jesus did miracles. Did miracles. So we, we know that he did it. For the glory yeah. that we might believe, uh-huh. right? Amen. And the Bible says that he went about touching all those who were sick, yeah. touching all those, healing the sick, raising the dead, over the blindness, casting out devils. Right? Let me give you what God gave me on that. Listen to the prayer that he tells his disciples to pray. Uh-huh. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Ain't no sickness in heaven. Just like Satan was cast out of heaven, Jesus was casting demons out of people. He was operating in a kingdom way. Somebody shout kingdom operator. Hallelujah. Kingdom operator. And what God is saying right now that we should be operating in a kingdom way. And it's a lot of things that have caused us to be distracted from kingdom operation, from operating in a kingdom way. We'll get so distracted quickly, quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. But God is saying now is the time to operate in a kingdom way because I'm about to manifest my glory and I need you in place. So when I come down, I can use you, you, you. I can use all of you for my will. Hallelujah. And my yeah. You got to be kingdom minded. You got to be kingdom minded. Yeah. Someone says, I came to Jesus. Yeah. Just like I was. We were going. Listen at the level. Listen at this situation. Mark one and chapter uh, uh, Mark chapter one, verse four. And you ain't got to turn to it. Mark the Bible says that that was a leper. First of all, he came to Jesus. And the Bible says that he kneeled before him. He worshiped. Yeah. And he said, If thou wilt, if thou wilt. Thou can make me whole. And the Bible says, him being moved with compassion. Ah, And he he said, I will. Hallelujah. I will. will. And the Bible says that he touched that man. Because that is where we know that he we know that he honored the covenant. He honored Moses' covenant. And then he he did touch the leper. But at his word the man was made whole. But my point is is that that the leper first he came to Jesus. Who you going to? When you should be coming to Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. The song that I came to Jesus just like I was. Yeah. Weary, Weary. Wounded and sad. Yeah. I found in him a resting place. Yeah. And he has made me glad. Yeah. Do you know who you coming to? He's the mighty God. Yeah. Wonderful counselor. Yeah. Prince of peace. Yeah. Everlasting father. Yeah. His memory. Jesus. I don't come to church just to get my groove on with the crazy thing. I'm coming for Jesus. 
and be in pain. And I'd be over there on that keyboard playing and singing for a couple years. I ain't the right baby for a few years. And I'd be sitting on that keyboard playing and just my pants cramping up and I'm just playing and singing to the glory of God. Sometimes you may catch me rubbing on my hands. But the man of God came over to the keyboard and touched my hand. I'm talking about Minister John Lindsay. Came over there and touched my hand. And he said, God is going to heal your hand. You know what was going on? I ain't told nobody about it. My God. Surrender. Hallelujah. When God say pray, boom. Yeah. No, 
talking about how I feel. You know, I'm going to go pray because God will have me to pray. Don't matter what it's for. He'll let me in on it. What God tell me to read, I'm getting in his presence. Because in his presence is fullness of joy. Yes. Pleasures forevermore. Yes. Everything I need is in him. Yes. In Jesus. Yes. Kingdom operation. Yes. It's time for us to operate in a kingdom way. Yes. God is preparing the people yes. to come in here. Yes. And when they hear what's going on oh at the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost yes. Church, when they hear how people are not only being saved, but things are happening yeah. to make it be known that God is manifesting his glory. Yeah. And when they see these things in place, we got to be ready to receive them. Right. Then we'll hug the drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We'll put our arms around. Yeah, he said he touched every one of them who was sick. Yeah. That's why we got to be led by God. Look at the times we're in. Look at the times we hear. You know, people get sick. Sickness is a real thing out here. Right? So we got to be led. If, if, if we can't hear them, we won't be able to see. we got to be able to hear what God is saying. And the only way we can do that is we're already in a position to hear the Spirit. You want to know how you do that? You want to know? Do you really want to know? You already know it. Pray. Read. Read. Stay in the service. That's the re- re- recipe for success. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it sounds like something that's just been played and played and played. It's kingdom operation. Yeah. We're in kingdom operation. Yeah. When you do those things, yeah. you position yourself to hear from God. Yes. Yeah. And in a moment, let me yeah. share this with you. Go. Let me share this with you. I was riding down. A, I was riding down the road. And I'm like, man, man, get out of the way. Like, you know, I'm like, man, this, this joke here, no, he can't drive. Loud. And I'm just ride. And I, I happened to come to, like, a stop or whatever it was. And you know how you get feed through your YouTube, like, suggestions of what you should look at? And guess what the suggestion was? A message from TDJ. Guess what the message was? Road rage. <laughs> I, looked up, I, looked, I looked up and I was like, I just bust out laughing. I was like, oh, my God. It makes me, it almost reminded me of the verse where Jesus said, but you came to see out here, a reed shaking in the wind. It's like that's the vibe I got when I seen that road rage. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is God will minister to you yes, and show you your shortcoming, where you need to come up at. Yes, and I thank him for it. Yes. And now I can recognize it. Yes. This means God. God won't have me to do this. Because uh-huh. I do it often. I, and, I, and when I when he showed that to me, I seen how often. <laughs> Get out of the way, God. <laughs> but anyway, my point is, is that God wants to get us to a place yes, yes. where we can hear what God is saying yes. and operate in a kingdom way. Yes. His will be done yes. on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Yes. Yeah. We read the scripture. Mark 28. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's go to it one more time. Mark, was it, was it Matthew 28? That's what it was. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read that. Matthew 28 and this decision, right? Yeah. 19. Yeah. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things. Whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always. And guess who's the real teacher? Y'all got it. The Holy Ghost is the witness. He said that, he said, the Spirit shall receive of mine and give it to you. And guess what? He will not only lead teaching guide you into all truth, he'll show you things to come. We talk about God here now. God knows all things. He knows our thoughts before we think of them. And sometimes God will reveal things to you so you can be prepared for a situation when you walk in because you're operating in a kingdom way. That's how serious we got to be about our relationship with God. If we, want, if we really want what God has for us, if we really want his joy, his peace, right, and if we really want to live for him, and if we really, really to die for him, it has to get to that point at some time. Everybody ain't that 
There was a gathering of people, and the man of God was going forth. And one from the crowd, one from the background, one from the level of education and knowledge. He beckoned on them, leave him alone. He's unlearned of the law and some things, but he's been with God. Yes, sir. And that's what he was saying today. We have got to be able to allow the world to see, the people to see. Leave them alone. Mm-hmm. Putting us all in the same class. God is saying through people, leave them alone. Even the world going to start speaking on behalf of the preachers yes. that have been with God. Yes. Leave them alone. I know some more like that, but leave them alone. They've been with God. And when we've been with God, we will see us acting in a kingdom operation. So I want to encourage us today, uh, as Minister Tony went forward, I could see the greatest thing God did in him was to deliver this message. But also, sir, the greatest thing he did for God was to repent. Yeah. I'm not saying all of you need to run up here and look me in the eye and say, Bishop, forgive me. But if there's anybody you need to go and ask for forgiveness, don't just say, I forgave him in my heart when you need to go to them. Right. You haven't obeyed God if he told you to go to them. Right. Your gift is still at the altar because you didn't go to them. Right. Thank you, Mr. Tony, for the word today. And God be our witness, we will try next Sunday to let you give us a little bit more uh, of kingdom operation. This is where I want to be, this is where Mother Morgan wants to be, glory be to God, especially leaders that are steadily, constantly, you're supposed to know it better than anybody, available for you and many others that call me during the day, during the week, glory be to God. And when I can see us walking in the will of God during kingdom operations, It makes it easy for me to just come and say, y'all obey. Glory be to God. It's time that we walk in kingdom operation. And in order to do that, we got to pray. Let your kingdom come. And if it's kingdom come to us, we're going to operate in kingdom operation because his kingdom is peace, joy, in the Holy Ghost. I saw that demonstrated today. I saw, I saw before and after, but I saw the spirit man from head to toe that he had some dealing with the inward man because it's short from the outward.
make miracles. He mirrored the work done some people in this ministry. Glory be to But just because you get a miracle don't mean you're going to live all that. Please hear the words of the Lord from the minister of the Lord today. And we pray, Minister Tony, from this day forward. God, the anointing of God. It's not yours. God, the anointing of God that he placed on you today, that it won't always dwell with us, but when it's needed, that same anointing. You see favor on you. You can't walk around with the anointing pretending to be deep. It won't dwell with you always. So just relax yourself after the day and enjoy Jesus, enjoy your wife, Enjoy being a, a preacher, yeah. but stay consecrated so when God want to use you anywhere, he yeah. put his anointing on yeah. We can't do it without his anointing. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. My God, let us stand. Uh, so you're not here yet. So you haven't got your miracle yet. Can you just believe the one that you're seeking, the Jesus that you're seeking? Can you just believe he is a healer? You don't have to have it already to, to be happy. Just be happy because you're seeking the one you're seeking. He is. Act like you already got it. That's, that's, that's the way you see it, by faith. You start dancing before it manifests. Because you believe in him, he's going to do it. Give away to Facebook Live. Say hallelujah to Compass Call. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this day. If somebody would just cry out from the message, and I'm about to say it, just cry out whatever your need is. Will die. Will. Will die. Will die. No, I want you to say what I say, what he said. That the leopard didn't say, heal me. He already knew he was messed up. But when you come to Jesus, you just say, will die. Will, will die. die. Whatever your situation is, I know you got it now. Whatever your situation is, you don't have to tell him he knows.